Hey guys, and welcome to the deck profile for U-Bone Zector. So, yes, U-Bone Zector is off now. Been replaced by uh, Zombie Vice. Zombie Vice is going to get a permanent place on Vibe Y forever, so... Uh, one of the decks had to go, so I put up a video and asked, and, you know, U-Bone Zector or U-Bone Zector's, and... U-Bone Zector's got a lot more support than U-Bone Zector, so... Sad to see this deck go. It was working. It was doing its thing, but... Apparently, it's off now, so... It's kind of sucks. It's kind of sucks that it's here, but... It's still, it's still good. We're, we'll remember this deck as being one of the good ones. One of the good ones. It didn't get, it didn't get taken off of I mean why because it turned into poop. That, uh, that's not really the reason why. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and go over the deck profile. I'm going to tell you the reasons why I ran some of these cards and basic cards like that. You can go ahead and take the deck, play it for yourselves or whatever. Alright, so starting it off, three Armageddon Knights and three Dark Reference. I wanted to make sending the most consistent thing possible. Now, I kept on running to it plenty of times, especially when I ran, like, maybe, like, you know, less Armageddon Knights or less Dark Harper, that I would never draw into, um, any of the senders, you know? There's a couple of duels where, you know, I would, I, I would struggle to get even Hornet to the graveyard because I wouldn't have enough senders. So, this is actually a recent adjustment by increasing the odds and the consistency of the sending. Uh, the faster I get the Hornet to the graveyard, the quicker I can go ahead and go off with centipedes and dragonflies and Hornets and all that and good stuff, so... Uh, you know, I just like, I need to get it in quicker. Even if I gotta go summon Dark Gruffer, pitch Dark Gruffer, and send, you know, even if I gotta do that, I just wanted to make sure that I was the most consistent sending possible. Because that the faster and quicker I get Hornet to the Grave, the quicker and faster the deck can get started. So that was my idea with that. Ran one Debris Dragon, because Debris Dragon could, of course, bring back Faith of the Chaos and XC. Debris Dragon can bring back you Bell with Effect Negated, so, you know, it'll take some damage if your opponent talks to it, but you still get Terror. And then also, an interesting play you can do is that Debris Dragon can uh, actually summon Hornet, so you can go Debris Dragon, summon Hornet. And, of course, you can't sink into 8, but you can sink into 7, as long as it's a Dragon, that's, of course, b -Row. So, that is a play that you can do with these two. But they're both at 1, so... You know, the quicker you drop Hornet, you ever get Debris Dragon, just go to Breeze, summon Hornet, Black Rose. So, uh, that's the thing. That is the thing. Alright, next. Uh, and then Zector, so of course you run the Triple Centipede. Pretty much the leader of the deck, now since Dragons fly that one. So, you know, just summon Centipede, equip Hornet, unequip Hornet, pop card, search, equip, unequip, pop, search, equip, unequip, pop, search. So, that's generally the idea with it. And these. My 16 beater. It's a pretty strong attack for a level 3, so... Yep, centipede. Uh, one dragonfly, of course. It's that one, but... You still play it because he's just so damn good, you know? Dragonfly can't go any higher. Can't go any higher. He's just too too good. So, you know how centipede searches. Dragonfly summons him field. So you can literally go summon dragonfly, equip, unequip, pop, summon a centipede, equip, unequip, pop, search, you know? You know, so... Centipede is, a uh, really, really... I mean, so, uh, Dragonfly is really good. Like, there's a reason why Dragonfly is still limited to one, you know. So, you can, of course, like, XC uh, and detach the, the Dragonfly. And then, you know, you have a crap ton of revival. So, yeah, there you go. I was running a Gigamantis, but I started not liking it, especially with the high amount of revival I had. I kind of felt like Gigamantis just kind of clogged my hands, especially since I was running it at one. It's like, oh, I drew Gigamantis and I'm doing nothing with him. Yay! You know, well, I'd much rather, I could rather drive or just go, all right, Dragonfly, equip and equip pop, summon, equip and equip pop. Oh, I, I, I passed my turn. Oh, you kept my Dragonfly? Okay, well, I'm um, a uh, Limit Reverse, summon Dragonfly, equip and equip pop, summon, equip and equip pop, search. You know, so, you know. I kind of felt like I like Dragonfly much, but I mean, I like the revival aspect of it than uh, over, Dra over Gigamantis, so I decided to take Gigamantis out. That was only recent. If you still want to run Gigamantis, I had more power to you. Like I said, this isn't your average Insector deck. I tried to make it like that, but I just wasn't liking it. I wanted to get Ubel more involved. I wanted to get the Sending more involved, and I just really wasn't liking what was going on with the whole Gigamantis thing, even at 1. So... That's the reason why he uh, got taken out. At one point, I was running him at three because I was running triple dark Gruffer, and that was oh, yeah, that was bad too. So even at one, he still wasn't helping. So I decided, like, you know what? I got all the revival. I don't need Kikimantis. I don't need him. You know? that's just how I felt about this, the whole situation. Then I ran triple Hopper. I know you're probably saying like, how, why Hopper instead of Ladybug? I'd probably explain this in my video. Uh, because it's level four, because it's a 17 meter, and. That's pretty much it. That's all I need. I don't need Ladybug, Ladybug to, you know, level modulate and all that jazz. No. I need level fours. You know? If I have, you know, if I have, like, you know, an Armageddon Knight in the graveyard, and I need to still get set up, and if I can just go, you know, 
you know, summon Armageddon Knight, drop uh, Hornet, you know, summon Hopper and XC and the Lava Chain and drop you Bell. I'd be much happier with doing that than anything that Ladybug could ever offer me. Now, if you're going to run just regular injectors, yes, Ladybug is better than Hopper. But for this deck, particularly with the strength of level 4s and the, you know, the strength of Xing and the rank 4s, I say Hopper is much better, especially being a 17 beater. You know, he doesn't get any special effect for uh, equipping on equipping popping, but he can. You know, there's not like it's not like Centipede where he goes equip on equip pop search or Dragon Fox where equip on equip pop summon. He's just equip on equip pop. That's it. You know, I mean, he can go ahead and, and equip himself, and then the equip Injector Monster can attack directly. I think it was it attack directly, but you only do. Equip a monster, monster can equip, can attack your opponent directly. Other monsters you can control can't attack the turn you have to attack. So you can like hop over something and then the exact monster that's equipped to it can attack directly, but nah, you know. So yeah, I just think, but that's the reason why I ran Hopper because he's level 4 and he's 17. I, I don't, I was never really big. I tried Ladybug at the beginning, but it being level 2, it just didn't do anything, you know, it didn't have any synergy, it wasn't a tuner, it just wasn't anything. You know, even with its level modulation, I'm still like, eh, nah, I'd rather have a nice 17 beater hopper. So, that's why I went with hopper instead. Of course, you can't have the deck without Hornet. Hornet, the popper, the popper, they tell you, that's who, this is who you equipped, this is who you do everything with. This card gets banished, let the struggle begin. The duel's pretty much over, so, um, you know, Hornet, I don't know what to talk about him, he's just Hornet, you equip. You know, I don't them. You pop shit. You search. You summon. You pop. You pop. You pop. You pop. 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 Now, of course, destruction's not getting the meta, but you know, for Vimeo Live, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'd be up on resources like hell just because I would just continuously pop my opponent's stuff, and while they would go minus one, I would go plus one off my searches of centipede or my summons with uh dragonfly. So, yep, Hornet. Right. Then triple mass chameleon. Mass chameleon can of course. Bring back uh, Band of Chaos, go into some uh, Rank 4 Cities, or some Sync 8 if you want to, but um, also Summon Bell. So that's mostly why it's in here. More Revival. Just more Revival. You know, just Mass Chameleon, some Back you Bell. You know, my effect's negated, so I'm not worried about you doing, you know. And if you attack into me, then I'm going to get my effect with Terror, so, you know. So that's the reason why. Band of Chaos, I just explained that for him and him. That's pretty much it. That's the reason why I started writing Phantom of Chaos. I, pr I started to change this into Dragon, just for him, but not for him anymore, but, you know, because I generally don't like using Debris Dragon. Some I've been liking Debris Dragon less and less, you know, I'm liking Masquerade a lot more, but, you know, they pretty much do the same thing when it comes to Hack and Chaos, you know. They both revive, just you can't, you he can't synchro someone with him, but he can, but, you know, you can do other things in your turn with him, you know, but, um, yeah, so... If you don't like the Breeze Dragon, you don't want to run him, then switch him for a uh, Shadal Dragon who has zero defense. And of course, when you send to a Great Arbor Artifact, it pops a uh, Spell Trap, so you can go ahead and summon on again, Knight, on again, and Knight, send, um, um, uh, you know, Dragon, Shadal Dragon, pop a background. You know, that's actually the, the plays I started doing in uh, Ubel at Seas, because I took the Breeze Dragon out. So, yeah. But that's up to you. That's up to you. I said. You want to take out the Breeze Dragon, turn this into, you know, uh, a Shadal Dragon. And you want to take Nefarious, I'll shoot Nefarious this out. And you can run the Dark Hole, you can run the Regaki. It's not necessary, but you can. Of course, then we have all forms of UL, just one of each, you know. You don't want to run multiple of them because you're because they'll clog and you'll draw them all the time. <gasps> oh, wait, I already do that. So I might as well run them at three. I, if I ran all the forms of UL at three, I'd probably draw them last and I'd draw them at one. But eh. thank you, number generator, right? And the card that I run in one that I never get, the fairy Sunshine and the fairy Sense. I was just trying them out in here. You know, I didn't really, I was like, well, what if I don't have to waste, you know, one of my Insector Pops on turning you bell into various forms? Well, I just use the fairy Sunshine and the fairy Sense. So I wanted to go ahead and try them out in here, you know, especially with the High Revival, the High Revival. I was like, all right, well, all right, you know, I'm just go Mass Chameleon, summon, uh, oop, I can go Mass Chameleon, summon you bell. Oh, you didn't kill it? All right, well, during my end phase, I'm going to go Archfiend, destroy you bell, summon Archfiend, uh, you know. You bell will summon terror, you know. So that was the idea anyway, but I just you know, I don't know. I don't know. So you don't have to run them, I was just trying them out. You know, I thought like if I ran them at one I get them all the time, you know. I get to see this guy all the time because it's the card I got it I run at one and I don't think I ever saw him in this deck, so yeah. Anyway, that's the monsters, twenty three monsters, lot not high monster count, so like I said, I tried to keep the decks consistent and death as possible, but you know. 
Yeah. In the end, it was still fine. Like I said, if you wanted to go ahead and do that exchange play, you can go ahead and do it. It's up to you. All right, next, Triple Rota. Like I said, descending as quick as possible. The quicker we get Hornets, the quicker we can get started. It's all you need. It's all you need. So definitely Triple Rota. You got him. You got him. Go ahead and do it. Soul Charge. Soul Charge with Insectors is stupid. Like, don't tell me that Soul Charge with Insectors ain't stupid. You know? Like, just, just, just like, Soul Charge. Pay 4,000 life points, summon three centipedes, and then the Dragonfly, and go to town on your punters. Quip on Equip Pop, search. Quip on Equip Pop, search. Quip on Equip Pop, search. Quip on Equip Pop, summon. Quip on Equip Pop, search. You know, you know, really fucking ridiculous, you know? So, definitely Soul Charge. Soul Charge is broken in this deck. Like, you, you can't conduct your battle phase, but you're gonna go so plus. So plus, so, yeah. You know, Soul Charge is one of the decks I was definitely worried about. Windsector is one of the decks I was worried about when I saw this card, so. Even at one, it's still pretty scary, you know. Alright. One Foolish. More setup. Three Pot. I ran Three Pot because this deck doesn't special summon that often, you know. It's not really besides Dragonfly, I don't special summon that often. So, you know, just being able to go Pot and be able to look three cards ahead and be like, oh, give me that Centipede for later, you know. Or, you know, give me that Dragonfly for later. So, like I said, it's it's one of the slower decks on Vitamin Y. Most of the time, my turns are just normal summon. Centipede, equip on a quip, pop, search a centipede, poke you for a 16. Yeah, that's pretty much, you know, the extent of my turns, unless, you know, it's Dragonfly. But, um, you know, pop is just helping with the consistency. I tried to make the deck pretty consistent, so that's the reason why we went with that. Alright, so that's the spells. Only eight. No. Alright, like I said, you can go ahead and take the Friday Star Tree and the Fairiesness out, and you can take the Breach Dragon out, turn this into a dragon, and put in the Dark Hole and Regeki, if you want to. It's up to you. Choice is yours. Alright, so traps, three call, three limit reverse, and three oasis. I, I love revival. Revival, I love revival. So, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I, I can revive you, Bell. I can revive my, my centipedes. I can revive my dragonflies. I can revive and revive and revive and equip and equip and it pop and pop, 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 pop. That's what you do in this deck. You pop a cap in their ass and you win. It's that simple. So, lots of revival. Lots of revival. <coughs> Alright, extra deck wise, I kind of just threw this in here and I don't know. I don't know. I try to explain why with my choices, but eh. Alright, so, like I said, um, with these two, you can make a Black Rose. So, if you're going to take him out, then I guess you take out Black Rose. Then, hot because. I guess these two. Yeah, these two could do it, but that's not a play I did often. I just wouldn't be there just being K. But Scrap Dragon seems like really unnecessary. It seems like he's been more getting more popular than Scrap Dragon when it comes to that kind of thing. But hey, what you're gonna do, right? Anyway. Uh, I guess I ran one dweller because dweller's staple and it's a ton. Well it's a ton's only twenty bucks. Hmm. Alright, cowboy, he wins the game. King of Frontlands, search for more Masked Chameleons, of course. Uh, Lala Chain, yes. Uh, Levier, I don't think I ever did this play, because I don't think I have anything that banishes. No, I don't, so. But that must have been in previous. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe my, maybe my opponent banishes Hornet, and I want to get it back. So I make him summon it. I don't know. 101, because 101. Uh... Leviathan, I probably used him the most, just so I can go ahead and go, you know, summon Dragonfly, equip on equip, pop, summon Centipede, equip on equip, pop, search, exceed the Leviathan, detach the Dragonfly, go up to 25, call the Hunter, Lunar Verse, whatever, bring back the Dragonfly, equip on equip, pop, summon, quick on equip, pop, search, you know, so, you know, I just pop four cards, because their effects aren't, you can only use the effect of Dragonfly once per turn, it isn't like that, so, literally, if Dragonfly leaked the field and comes back, I get my effects all over again, so, yeah, that's the reason why he used that. And I guess apparently I had two Castells. I don't know why. Because Castell is good. So that means just in case I drew like butt. So I can go ahead and just make those end mains and stall. And then I guess Rhapsody. I don't know. Because I guess he's good, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, it's actually like I kind of just threw it together. I'm just like, that's not the important part. You know, especially with the taking out of Ladybug. I had to, I got to take out a lot of the, you know, the fives and the sixes. So I just... Do other stuff in there. I don't know. All right, so that's the deck. That's all I got to say. So like I said you're getting double vitamin Y today. You're getting this deck profile, and you are, of course, getting uh, the return of Zombie Y C Bell. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to that. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support for this deck. Thank you for supporting me in general. Channel's been doing really well lately. I'm probably going to be doing like a a thank you video soon. 
So I look forward to that. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed the stack profile for you, Ben Lecter. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I'll see you guys in the next Vitamin Y later today using uh, the return of Zombie Vice, you know. All right, thanks for watching.